Voilà, so I'm very, very happy to be here, back here. As Lawrence said, I was here as a, a graduate student in the master program a few years ago. And I'm now working in an outpatient clinic in Geneva uh, at the University Hospital, and who takes care of um, the general population, but also uh, um, asylum seekers living in community housing. Um, I, I wanted to talk, uh, so I thank Lawrence for uh, organizing the conference. And um, I wanted to talk today, actually it was, um, the, the beginning of this talk was the, the coincidence of the, of the discussions here around the, the charters of, value, uh, of values and um, um, a votation that we had in Switzerland in February um, that was intended to limit what was called mass immigration, but actually it was uh, it was uh, launched by the right uh, by a right right wing party uh, trying to 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 limit the immigration and to put quotas on the immigration, and it was very very um, uh, it was accepted, and uh, it um, uh, the result of that was that a, a big confusion in the in the in the um, in the government, because uh, the, the, the it was um, putting pressure on, on agreements between Switzerland and different European countries, um, and it was giving so it has been giving some problems to the to the government. So we start from just by showing you Switzerland uh, in the middle of, uh, of Europe. Uh, so it's bordered by, you know, as you see, it has a border with France, Italy in the south, Germany in the north, and Austria. Um, it functions, it has just, it's a small, very small country, but it has 26 states. So it's a federation of 26 smaller states, which are called cantons. And uh, it works as a semi-direct democracy. So people elect the parliament, uh, which then elect the executive uh, government. And uh, uh, the people also have a right for initiatives, which means that they, they can uh, submit a change in the, they can submit the change and uh, a, um, a vote for change in the con constitution. And to get to that, they have to, ha to, to gather uh, 100,000 signatures from the Swiss citizens, and then it's submitted to the whole population. So that's a very, um, uh, that's, I think one of the, the, the Swiss people are very proud of that possibility to change, to have a, a direct impact on, on, on the politics. But it has also its drawbacks. So um, if we take a little bit of a historical perspective, uh, in the 1970s, this is, you know, it's in German, so I'll tell you later. So uh, in 1970s, th there was a, a beginning of, um, there was a sort of, of these, uh, of different initiatives uh, against uh, the presence of immigrants in Switzerland. Um, and this was against the background. Uh, what it says here just is that every second in Switzerland, uh, a, a square meter disappears, uh, a square meter of nature disappears. And this is due to uh, the um, population coming from the foreign population, the immigrants. And uh, we are getting more and more concrete in the country. <laughs> so that was the, the, the poster uh, to campaign for the initiative. Um, the I'm just showing an example, one or two examples of the background before that. that. So that was in 1970. I will tell you the context of the 1970s. But just befo before that, in the years before, that's an example of another initiative against uh, communism. This one was, so the caption down there says, uh, Switzerland for the Swiss. So that's w uh, one example. That's another example. Um, so the idea is to stop the um, um, overpopulation or the, the immigration, overimmigration with this. Uh, and the background is the Swiss flag, red across against, uh, um, a white cross against a re red field. Um, the 1970 initiative that I showed you first um, um, appeared in a, in a period where uh, there had been, after the Second World War, there had been a lot of immigrants, mostly from Italy, um, coming to actually help the, the, the uh, there was a um, big need in migrant workers because the, the, the country hasn't suffered so much from the World War II. And so there were the, 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 there were very big need of migrant workers. They came, they mostly came from, uh, from Italy, but also from Germany, a bit later from Spain, much later 
from Portugal. So the, actually the, the, the growth of the Swiss economy after the Second World War uh, was very much indebted to the arrival of, of, the, of the Italian mostly. Uh, this is to show you a little bit th their condition of work because their um, their condition of living, um, as they had um, temporary visas, they were not allowed to to leave in uh, to easily. They couldn't find easily uh, a housing. So this one, these are sharing a room in four, and this is not this was not rare. So ma many of them were submitted in to these conditions. Um, so if you. If you look at the, at the population in 1960, it was 10% of the population was, was of foreign origin. And in 1970, there were 16. So as there was a huge uh, uh, immigrant population uh, during these 10 years. And um, in that context, the, the initiative that we saw before was launched. So there was a sense that uh, there were pressure <coughs> on housing, pressure on schooling, on room in schools, and uh, that the, the res the those responsible for that were the, the immigrants. Um, th they were employed, mostly employed in construction, in building and building dams, for example. So there is a, a very important dam in, in the Alps that have been constructed mostly by, by Italian uh, work, migrant workers, um, and also in the restaurant industry, in the restaurant um, yeah, work. <coughs> um, the initiative that was launched in 1970 was um, was not accepted. So this is, you don't have to read anything, everything. It's just to show you that the, the red is the, the percentage of people who said, uh, who said no to the initiative. So it, it didn't pass. So it means that there was not, uh, um, uh, um, uh, the, the, the initiative was asking that the, there was a limit to the number of immigrant people. So it would have meant to send back like 400, 500,000 people back to their home. People who had been there for, for many years already in, in 1970. So this was a, one, the first of many initiatives that were launched during the, the um, let's say, 20 years from 1970 to 2000 uh, um, that were launched. And each of them were rejected. But at the, at the beginning of the uh, 2000, um, there was a change in the in the in the in the, um, in the political debate that was um, put forth by by a um, writing political party, which is called uh, Union Démocratique, Démocratique du Centre in French. Actually, its name in German is much more telling. It's called uh, I'll take it in German Schweizerische Volkspartei, which means uh, Swiss People's Party. So it's a right-wing nationalist party, which is uh, morally conservative and um, economically liberal. Um, it's, it, has, um, it has positioned itself against the, the entry of Switzerland in the European community as a political body. Um, very, very uh, strongly, and also uh, with a very xenophobic stance, so against everything to do with uh, immigration, uh, the presence of, uh, of uh, foreign people in Switzerland, they have been always having a, a, yeah, a xenophobic stance against, against in, that, in, that, um, in that realm. So um, th they, they, have, they have launched in 2007 um, uh, yes, uh, uh, very, very <laughs> controversial, yes, and uh, <laughs> uh, um, initiative asking for um, the deportation of uh, uh, criminal of foreign origin. So people with temporary visas or even with permanent visa uh, who had not Swiss citizenship uh, should be de deported. And uh, this so it was launched in 2007, and it was uh, finally voted upon by the by the Swiss population in 2010. <laughs> so the campaign for that has actually lasted for four years, and um, the, the the problem is that they the, they have a lot of me financial means. So you can see how it appears in the in the streets. So it's it's a huge, it's a, it's a massively present in the in the public space, but also in the in the media the media coverage of it was very very strong, and um, it came into it came into a context and text uh, in which uh, in the years before there had been uh, things like that, 
So, uh, you know, this small man representing uh, Swiss people uh, with a, a very fol folkloric um, uh, costume, and as you see, the foot with a dark, dark skinned person trying to enter uh, Switzerland. Um, and the caption saying that we have to stay master in our own home, our own home, yeah, um, same country. And the other, uh, the other context that was in 2004, um, there was uh, um, um, the, the government, the, 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 it's called the uh, Federal Council, so the, the government is composed of the, the, the Swiss Confederation, the, the government of the Swiss Confederation is composed of seven people, so it's shared between seven people. And so they had, uh, they have had proposed that the, the, uh, the citizenship would be e should, get, should be easier uh, for people who had been living in Switzerland for a long time, should be easier to get, because they had been at school in Switzerland, they had been contributing to the Swiss economy, and so they sh it should be easier. Naturalization process in Switzerland is awful, and it's a very long process, difficult. So they were asking that, that these people would have a, an, an easier way. And the, so the IDC, the, the, the right wing party, was opposing that. And as you see on the picture, uh, you know, you have only dark skinned uh, hands and kind of greedily uh, trying to get the Swiss passport. So this was the context in which the, the, the previous com the campaign, this campaign was, uh, was, um, was launched. And um, if you look a little, if, you, if we look a little bit at the at the at the poster, um, so you have this uh, white sheep on the on the on the um, on the Swiss territory represented by the the the, the flag, the Swiss flag, and uh, all the same, supposedly rep representing Swiss Swiss people, and the, the the black sheep which is thrown out, and all the discourse around it was really saying that uh, the immigrants the the, the um, the immigrants who were criminals should be uh, sent away. But as you see, there's only one black sheep, one color. So it also um, draws on other layers. I even though it was never said, it was it obviously uh, targeted about, uh, about black or dark skinned people. So, so the immigrants are kind of um, lumped together into one group that is dark skinned, Different um, and it also draws on the on the on the idea that uh, on the equation between white and good and black and bad, uh, obviously. So um, and the the, um, uh, the the whole discourse around it was was saying that oh, but we want to keep the good ones. Uh, we just want to throw away the bad ones. But it was repeated so much that. Each time you would talk about immigrants, then all these bad uh, characteristics are coming. I, I will show it a, a bit later. Was coming, uh, so you don't even need to say that they are bad. As soon as you say they are immigrants, they have been so well, so much associated. These words have been so much associated together that um, um, it has a strong impact on people on the way people would see uh, uh, the immigrants. Um, and a bit later, while that campaign was still going on, there was another ver very, very nasty one, which is this one. And it really draws on many things that you have said. So uh, I won't, I won't uh, say too much about that. But you know, it, it was a, c a campaign against the construction of minarets. So we probably have two or three minarets. In there are many mosques. But there are probably one or two or three minarets. So nobody. Bother, the bothers no one, but it, uh, um, they really use these initiatives. So this uh, as a, as a way to actually run for uh, to how can I say to get votes for uh, the the um, the elections to the parliament. So for example, the black sheep campaign just came in during the summer, just before the run to the election in the in the fall. And in that, in that fall, that was the first time that the, 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 um, the number of seats that they got was the, was the highest among the diver, di different parties, and it was the first time that they were um, they were be becoming so so um, so powerful. How can I say? Uh, they would have so much so many seats. So really, the initiatives I think are 
I'm not the only one. That, so the, the initiatives are really a way to be talked about by the party and to uh, to gain votes for the, the to have for the parliament. Um, so the, so this one the the the, the so the minare are, are are equated to to misas you say misas missiles to missiles and so the only human figure is the woman completely veiled so the, this all the the the, the f only um, um, the emotions that, that they want to, to convey is, is really fear and uh, and uh, the sense of invasion uh, by uh, by Muslim in this case um, if we if we look if I, then I go back to the to the um, to the to the to different campaigns and the black sheep initiative um, the the, the um, a group of linguists uh, from uh, from Lausanne so another another town uh, in in, uh, in Switzerland have looked at the way uh, the the, the um, at the characteristics that always come with the with the use of the word foreigner or immigrant and um, usually the, 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 the these are the categories so there are supposed to be, to be too many, uh, to be too different. So not to either they are not willing to mingle or, or to integrate, or it's impossible. So they are so different that there's no possibility of them to integrate. Um, they are portrayed as uh, profiteers or abusing the, the, the system, mostly the welfare system. And um, the, they, are, they have criminal behaviors. So I've just given you a few captions here. Um, I, can, I can translate a few. So for example, I, I should, this should all put, be put in qu into quotes. Huh? Um, uh, and so I this is the, the, mat the written material for the campaigns uh, that have either been sent to, to households or are being, are being uh, discussed in, uh, or uh, are on their website or discussed in the, in, uh, in the um, in the in the media, or so. Um, so, for example, the, the, these are people who are uh, not well trained and just try to 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 abuse the system. Or these are um, there is uh, juvenile violence and and uh, foreign criminality, things like that. Um, the 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 response to to these um, to to so so this campaign has 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 uh, has given a huge. Uh, huge, uh, there was a huge debate and uh, controversies, and so th there were reactions like that. This is a, a college student actually who, who who drew that, but it was it was um, it was very it was very much um, shown in the media. So, and and this is an um, another a leftist party <laughs> who is just <laughs> so. Uh, uh, um, has reused the same the the uh, the, the same. Um, Imagery. I think that's one of the problem. Is that the reactions to the campaign just use the same language, so they don't. There's no distance from it, and uh, so it's just repeating the same message. Actually, even though it's going against, it's just using the same the same vocabulary. Um, so I don't think it's very powerful. And the thing is, uh, the the UDC has a lot of money, so they put like ten. 10 times more money into their campaigns than other parties. So like 20 to 30 million francs in a campaign, Swiss francs, which is about, um, so one, one Canadian dollar is about, uh, no, one Swiss francs is about 1.25 Canadian dollars. So, voilà. um, so, um, they, so they put much more money into it. And as you've seen, you can see the posters everywhere. That's one thing. And the second thing is that the, the media coverage of it ha takes no distance. All the debate is about the campaign. It's not about the, the, the substance of it or the, content, or the content. So nobody discusses the link between criminality, abusing the system by the immigrants, or that there are too many, or whatever. So it's not discussed. It's just, but they get, so they get a lot of attention without anything substantial being, being really um, uh, discussed in the in the in the in public. So, this is another example of kind of a reaction. If not, it's not a reaction, but the way. So that's the homepage of the Swiss uh, Migration Office. So when you go on the, to the web page, there are explanations, and there is this video, this link to a video of a, of a, I think a refugee, a former refugee who came to Switzerland and a, a little bit of his life. 
uh, and when you click on, on the link, you, you get to another page where there are portraits or five to six people coming from, from different countries who have been refugee or immigrants. Um, but the, the problem, nobody sees that. I mean, only if you need some information, you go there. So it has no, um, no wide coverage. And my, my argument is that these, these, this, these uh, discourses and these images leave a very long-lasting impact on people and on the way they perceive the immigrants, the, the, the refugees. Um, and it completely leaves out the fact that they contribute to the, to the society very, very much. And actually that the Swiss economy probably would not have grown after World War II without contribution of, of the immigrant population. I'll show you later a little bit of uh, a quick um, 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 a look at the, 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 um, how the population is, is um, um, the size of the population. Just for, for to, to give my, my point about the, the long-lasting effect uh, of that, there has been very recently a study by uh, Ben Zeff and, um, um, that looked at if there was a change in, in um, how you perceive uh, the tone of, uh, the, the skin tone of someone uh, if, if, um, uh, if you think that this person is educated of, or ignorant. So they have, uh, they have shown picture of a black man to, to uh, 100, 100, 100 people and they, they, have, they have primed it with uh, the word educated or ignorant and they have, they have they tried and then they asked people to recognize the face and when it was primed with the word educated it was uh, recognized as lighter and uh, so their idea the, the hypothesis they say that there is a skin tone bias which means that uh, you actually have a tendency to resolve uh, an incompatible cognition in the direction of the stereotype uh, instead of changing the stereotype. So with, with these campaigns that I've shown, uh, the, the, the um, stereotype is very, very, uh, you know, is very, uh, is very much enhanced and uh, um, I think it, it, have, it leaves a, a, a very strong impact on people. So uh, just to show you, here you see um, again what I've shown you before, but just to show you now uh, the uh, migrant, the foreign population is is uh, like 23% of the of the whole of Switzerland, about we are 8 million people, um, kind of, yeah, a bit more than 8 million. So 25 of them have a foreign passport and actually half of that have been living in Switzerland for more than 15 years. So they keep a foreign passport, but they're really part of the of the of, of, of the life of Swiss life. And they contribute to the, to the um, workforce because, as you see, the separation uh, in terms of in age groups. So the, the age group from 20 to 29 is, is much bigger than the, the Swiss person. So the workforce comes from, from, um, uh, from the immigrant population uh, very much. So... Um, my argument is that this sets out uh, a context in which uh, a migrant population, uh, it actually, I, I wanted to look at that to see if it has an impact on mental health. And I think the impact comes through uh, structural discrimination because all of these contexts uh, make it possible for very, very uh, restrictive laws to be passed um, for uh, asylum process, for example. So. Um, the, as the, 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 the patient I see in the, in the clinic who are asylum seekers um, are submitted to a lot of um, administrative uh, uh, um, can I say? Uh, hmm? discrimination. discrimination, yes, in the sense that, for example, uh, they have a social where the social benefits, but these are 50 percent lower than the, so the, the, the lowest uh, um, uh, size of the, the lowest um, uh, social benefits of the of the Swiss population, and this is uh, decided on upon the fact that, well, they are temporarily in Switzerland. They, sh they will leave anyway, so there's no need to give them, uh, you know, more money because it's it's a temporary situation. But actually, that's not so. 
uh, uh, many of the asylum seekers, even if their, um, their claim has been rejected, they stay in Switzerland with for five, ten years, even if their claim has been rejected. So if there is no ad active deportation, people stay and they live in very difficult condition. Another thing is that uh, um, they have to report regularly to the, to the local immigration office. So it means that uh, every one to four <coughs> weeks they have to go to the local immigration um, immigration office uh, who tells them, oh, but you should leave Switzerland, now it's time, and they stay in a kind of paper, which is not really a document, but which, which allows them to have the social benefits, which allows them to have um, health insurance, which we, do still, which we still have for uh, asylum seekers, which is very good in Switzerland. But uh, with the, if they don't go to the local immigration uh, office, they don't get that. And um, it ha uh, they can have housing. In the late, in the, since 1980, the 1980s, there have been a succession. Uh, it has there have been 10 different laws that have been passed uh, to change the, the, pro, uh, the, the procedure of uh, asylum seekers, uh, the asi of asylum seeking, and to uh, restrict their rights to different things. And uh, I think this is, has been made possible without much uh, public debate because there, there is this background of, of, um, of uh, negative associations to immigrants and uh, asylum seekers. Voilà. I think I'll stop here. Thank <laughs> you.